Mike Sosha manned the south corner of the home dugout at Angel Stadium for nearly two decades. Through the final stages of a 15-year playoff drought, through a World Series championship, through three consecutive losing seasons, Sosha stood there, steadfast and unwavering through most of his 3,078 games guiding the Angels. Advertisement but on Sunday afternoon, Sosha finally stepped back. He told friend Alfredo Griffin, the only coach remaining from the first staff Sosha helped put together in 2000, that Griffin would take over managerial duties for part of the day. Then he turned around. Hours before it became public knowledge that he will not return for a 20th season as Angels manager, Sosha retreated to bench and reveled in the final day of his tenure in Anaheim. He enjoyed the company of his players, the encouragement from his coaching staff and the end of the most historic managerial career in Angels history. Griffin, Josh Paul and Dino Ebel took turns standing in Sosha's spot, pulling the strings on the way to the Angels' ninth inning rally for a walk-off victory. They beat the Oakland Athletics 5-4 on rookie Taylor Ward's home run. Pyrotechnics exploded in center field. The Angels charged the plate. The stadium rocked with cheers. About 20 minutes after his 1,650th victory and fighting an uncharacteristic public display of emotion, Sosha left. I had nothing to do with today, he said. Nothing to do with the lineup. Nothing to do with the pitching changes. Hence, that's probably why we won. But he had so much more to do with everything else. Sosha helped turn a club viewed as a national laughingstock into a perennial contender. Over 19 seasons, he guided the likes of Vladimir Guerrero, David Eckstein, Joan Figgins, Jared Weaver and Tori Hunter. He witnessed the historic rookie campaigns of Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. He suffered the anguish of losing a player in Nick Addenhart, and he celebrated the triumphs of Albert Pujols' milestones. Angels Mike Sosha won't return as Angels manager in 2019 by Mike Dijovan this September 30, 2018, 5.45 p.m. So Sosha spent 10 minutes reminiscing about those players and his time in Anaheim as he sat on the days in the ground-level interview room. He shook off the persistent interruptions of a reporter's ringing cell phone, is that an iPhone that doesn't have an off switch? When's the battery out to make sure he thanked everyone he could? He wiped tears off his cheeks as Trout, Justin Upton and Cole Calhoun sneaked into the room and watched from the second row. He reiterated his love for baseball and his desire to manage again, should an opportunity present itself. And so she came to grips with the end. In this game you never know if, where or when an opportunity comes and I'm fine with that, said Sosha, who turns 60 in November. If something comes and I get another chance, great. If not, believe me, I'm gonna take the great experience I had here. The last four seasons haven't met expectation. Otani's arrival, Upton's decision to sign with the Angels through 2022 or Trout's best overall season didn't allow the Angels to end a playoff drought at four seasons. They finished 80-82 for the second year in a row. combination of disappointing results and the expiration of Sosha's 10-year contract likely helped to usher in a new era of Angels baseball. Who will replace Sosha is tough to predict. On the list of candidates for general manager Billy Epler to consider are special assistants Eric Chavez and Brad Osmus, and bench coach Paul. Epler also will likely interview people outside of the organization. The process can drag on for months. Advertisement at any rate, Sosha leaves behind a legacy that, in an age of managerial carousels, will be hard to outrank. The passion he had for the game, to win, Trout said. Him and the coaches, he always put the players in a great position to succeed. I can't thank him enough. 6.55 p.m., this article has been updated with more details and quotes. This article was originally published at 3.55 p.m.